All right, so got a tip up set up. I'm just trying to get some sunfish off this little ice jig thing. Very sensitive rod tip. Oh, lost the thing. Do those wax worm put off any sin at all? Yeah, a little bit. Here we go. Oh, I lost it. This rod's got a real sensitive rod tip. Here we go. It's a little sunfish right here. I'm going to put some of these in my bucket to use as bait later if we run out of some of those things. It's a little better one. Right here. Alright, I've got two bass setups going on right now. One of which is a tip up and the other is this kind of little spinning combo with the minnow and a treble at the other end so it should be pretty good there we go big bit Big bass! Big bass!
Be ready. Get him. There we go. Yeah. Yep. I just saw it take off. I was actually talking about the rig and then it took off. Nope. I had a shiner I put on the treble. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah. All right, guys, I'm releasing him. There he goes. Yeah, first bass of the year. I thought, geez, oh, Pete, because it started, I was talking about it. I was going to say I could see every little nibble on it, and then it just went, whoosh. Uh -huh. I was like, yes, I got it. You draw off your hand. I do. Yeah, just put it in there. Hey, Amen. Wow, cool. It wasn't hooked very much. No. Well, I didn't let him have it for very long because I was shocked. I was like, that. Because I didn't want it to happen like last time. All right, guys, I wasn't paying attention. Tip-up went up. First bass from a tip-up I've ever caught right here. It's probably a good 18, 19 inch fish. Second, almost out of battery, right there.